It was in the 1840, Belgium. So his name is Adolf Sax. So people they call saxophone. The cause of making that instrument, it was jazz music. Mostly people they use for the military band and all that technique. They adapted for uh, for jazz music. Nowadays, without the saxophone, there is no meaning for the jazz. That's what. Before I know, uh, I learned Nadasur from my dad. So he was a guru. I know a little bit of all the instruments knowledge because I have not seen the saxophone. When I saw the instruments, then I become so fan of that. I decided to whatever I learned from my dad, I must because there was no dream this much of, but my cause was to play. Oh, how loud this sounds! I want to play. This is this is inspiration. So then I took class on great master Gopal Krishna Iyer. He is a flutist, come vocalist. So then I started to learn new vocal and I translate translating to the saxophone. But there was a definite dream in my in my mind. Whatever the uh, maybe the saxophone is not suitable for gamaka and the jaro soras. I I tried a lot of because hatha sadhana, you know, kind of six hours, eight hours practice with the guru's guidance, not myself. Whatever I'm learning from. My guru, I am coming to my residence and take instrument and do practice, whatever, and again show that and listening maximum ka, uh, concert and uh, kind of gamaka pradhana, uh, vadana, and uh, trying to as much as what I can adapt to there, and there was a kind of uh, hard work to adapt. Still, I am uh, searching something. What can do more and more and more. It's not too over. You need mouth balance and the finger systems, uh, up, close, closing up, and of course the tongue uh, touching the reels and the blowing systems and stamina. But you must know how blow. Very simple. Anybody they can play. There is no uh, limit, male or female. Anybody they can play. So that is that was my dream. I even uh, it is not too over. I am searching. I cannot say I am the only man. I adapted. There, there is nothing more. I am searching, searching, searching. Whatever I am learning, I am adapting. I will donate to my students. B flat saxophone is suitable for our Carnatic music um, because in sitting positions, you know, kacheri style, standing positions, any saxophone they can play. But in Indian style, for Carnatic music, we are playing in the dayas, in the sitting positions. Kids, they have to practice. At least two hours, but not lesser than one hours. Just genti varasa and uh, gamaka, uh, prasanna, genti varasa, gym kind of genti varasas playing. That is that will be help and the blending kind of uh, technique they must like ga to sa ga that kind of or. Pa sa to pa sa like this is kind of all sir gym they have to try with the guru's guidance. Janardhan is very disciplined boy and he learned a lot of things from me. Now he is eligible to perform in individually. He do a lot of things. 
he already traveling all over the world and there are so many disciples so i am so proud of him because he is taking my parampara to all over the world that's what i want to talk people they play more indian classical music and he will teach over everywhere i wish him all the best i wish all the in, uh, students who never learning the saxophone from this media i mean buying a vcd or dvd to getting the knowledge from this phase all the best all the best do more learn more become a famous artist in the in the field of music and also i wish the the media the company for this kind of concept i like this very much and also they are doing some other uh, project also i wish them to do more and more this kind of uh, help for the listeners and the learners namaskar Namaskaram I am Janardhan I am a disciple of Padmashri Kadri Gopalnath I am here before you to present basics in saxophone as well as giving you tips how to master the instrument I will be supported by my student Durga Prasad The saxophone is originally a western instrument used in jazz and western classical now it is used in Indian classical music the saxophone made of brass the pads made of leather the mouthpiece is made of various materials the one i am using is made of abonet the reed is also made of various materials like bamboo synthetic fiber and fibrocell i will be teaching you the carnatic music on saxophone and its different techniques uh, this is the full saxophone in the saxophone there are six parts i will mention the each part this is the body of the saxophone this is the neck of the saxophone this is the mouthpiece of the saxophone this is the ligature we can say reed holder a metal ring and with the screws there are two screws to tie the reed like this like this this is the reed to blow the saxophone we need to connect this reed to mouthpiece this is the cap which protects the mouthpiece like this we have seen different parts of the saxophone now i will teach you how to assemble the parts of saxophone now this is the saxophone body and first of all we need to take the neck and take the mouthpiece and connect to the cork side like this we need to attach the reed bottom side of the reed to flat side of the mouthpiece like this and 
and we need to take the ligature that is read holder so this is going to fix the read and mouthpiece like this to adjust the read we need to keep a bit loose and we need to check whether it is right position or not like this we need to check like this and then we can we need to write the screws like this then we need to put on the top of the saxophone neck side this is what we need to basically do the saxophone fixing after the fixing everything if you don't play the saxophone we need to cover the mouthpiece otherwise it's going to be damaged while you keeping down or something so we need to keep the mouthpiece holder this is the cap this is going to be protect the mouthpiece <laughs> Now I will teach you blowing techniques on saxophone. Now first place your mouth around top of the mouthpiece like this. Then your lower lip should cover the lower teeth like this to produce the sound like If you don't cover the teeth, the sound will be false. Like, if you play like this, this is the false sound. Now I will show you the fingering techniques in saxophone. The left hand thumb goes on the back of the sax on your thumb rest like this the first we need to touch the index finger the following buttons like here and the second one here the the that is middle finger and the ring finger here that is shajama sa like and then you need to hold the these three fingers and touch the little finger this is the re and then you need to remove one two three that means we need to hold only index finger that is ga and then center finger middle finger this is ma then close these three fingers again and then bottom right hand we need to hold this thumb the rest here and one two three white buttons again the three down and up the three all together pa while you playing the pa we need to approach this key then only you can play, you can blow the punch mom pa then add the little finger the right side that means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 then need to remove little finger and ring finger and index of right hand that is knee that means we need to hold the middle finger and then second act to sajjama sa when you play the sajjama second act to we need to hold this from panchamam we need to hold like 
again descending order knee da then pa then ma we need to leave all the fingers this as well uh, but you need to rest if you going to buy a new saxophone there is a suggestion for choosing mouthpiece and reeds there are many varieties of mouthpieces but i suggest you to buy yamaha c4 beginner's mouthpiece there are many varieties of reed strength wise like 1 to 5 like 1 1 and half 2 2 and half 3 3 and half 4 4 and half and 5 but beginners we need to buy one and off and two my suggestion there are different types of saxophones namely sopranino soprano alto tenor baritone 